This is an easy guide for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth for the Rebirth Mod Manager Mod Hub. This is an application that allows you to easily download, install, and manage mods that's built with a modern design and is super simple to use. So we'll be going over everything you need to know to help get you started. We'll first get started by downloading the Mod Manager. So for this, we'll be using a website called Nexus Mods and you need to make sure you create a free account first. But once you've done that, every single mod you download from this website is free 99 so you don't have to worry about paying anything. We'll then go over to the Files tab and then just click on this manual download. If you're not paying for the subscription for Nexus Mods, you should instead see a slow download. You'll just click that instead. So as soon as you click it, you'll have another pop-up that appears asking you to designate the install location. By default, it should be your downloads folder, so you can go ahead and just press save. Now you just need to open up your file explorer, navigate to the downloads folder, and then you should see your UE Mod Hub. This is an executable file, so all you need to do is double click it. Once you do this, you may see a Windows protected your PC. This always happens when you're downloading third party software. It's just something that Windows doesn't recognize. So just click on more info and then go down to run anyway. You'll go through the license agreements, the actual install location, which will be in your program files, and then you can finally install it. It'll take a few seconds for it to install. And then once done, you just need to press the finish button. You should also see the UE Mod Hub shortcut on your desktop. So you can always click on this as well to get to the actual mod manager. Now we need to connect our Nexus account to this mod manager. So we're gonna need to find something called the Nexus Mods API key. This is something you want to keep secret. So never share your API key, just like you wouldn't for your password. On the Nexus Mods website, you're gonna click on your profile picture, and then you're gonna go down to site preferences. On this page, we're gonna go over to API keys. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see your personal API key. I'm not showing you mine because like I said, never show anybody. Once you have your key though, paste it into this box. And then once you've done that, it'll take you to the manage game section. We need to select Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So we'll click on this plus icon to add our game, but we'll need to find our game installation path. If you have this on Epic Games, you're gonna go into library and wherever Final Fantasy VII is, click these three dots, go over to manage, and then click on this folder icon. The address at the top of this search bar is going to be your game folder. If instead you're on Steam, find Final Fantasy Rebirth, right click it, go down to manage, and then click browse local files. And then if you look in the search bar, this is going to be your game folder. So we'll go ahead and copy this address, and then we'll paste it into the game installation path. So now you have your game folder successfully set up. Now in the top right hand corner of the screen, before we get started, you may need to install some updates. So make sure you click on this to ensure that you have no more updates left, and then we can continue. Now we can finally install some mods. So in the mods tab, you can see all the mods you have installed. You can see the ones you've previously downloaded. You can see the latest mods on the Nexus Mods website, trending mods, and then of course mods that have been updated. But a really cool feature of this mod manager is that you can enter the URL of the mod from Nexus Mods right here. This comes in handy because not all mods will show on the actual mod manager. So your best bet is to browse on the actual web browser, find a mod you want to try. You're going to copy the URL of that page, and then you're gonna paste it into the search bar. As soon as you press the find button, all the details will pop up for that mod. You go to the download tab, and then you just need to click on this folder icon. Your mod will download. And then if you press the arrow icon, it will install the mod for you. So if you go back to your installed tab, you'll see that your new mod is installed into your game. If you ever wanna get rid of a mod, you can always click on it, go back over to that download page. And then all you need to do is press the stop sign button. This will uninstall the mod from your game. But if you go over to your download tab, you'll still see that it's downloaded. So you can reactivate it at any time. You can also download a few mods and then save it as a mod list. So you can switch between mod list at any time as well. Now we want to test to see if our mod actually works. So we'll go over to the play tab and then press launch Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now it didn't happen this time, but sometimes when you launch the game, you'll run into a fatal crash error. Don't freak out though. Just relaunch the game and you'll be fine. It happens maybe every other launch sometimes, but it's nothing to worry about. Now when you load up in the game, you should see your new mod installed correctly. So Tifa had her standard outfit changed to black and white. So now you should have the knowledge to download any mod you want. There is, however, one caution for certain mods. We use this hair color mods, for example. So if we copy the URL, paste it into the mod manager and press find, we'll go over to the download tab. And for this, we have three different options. So we have black hair, blonde hair, and red hair. For example, if we only want Aerith with the black hair, we're gonna, of course, click on the download and then we'll install it. So it'll show up in our installed category, but we need to go back to our game folder, go into end, 
go into content and then packs, you should see a mods folder that the mod manager made for you. We'll go inside of there and inside you'll see all of these black hair packs. Since we only wanted the Aerith one, we're going to manually have to take out the cloud black hair so you can delete those pack files. So just be wary of mods like that, that change all of the characters. You'll have to individually take them out. Hopefully you found this easy guide for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth nice and easy. If you want to see even more guides like this and mod showcases in the future, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Until then though, we'll see ya.